Yeah. Back with another freaking video, man. We back. Back at, at it, it y'all. Like a snack habit, man. You What's going know. on, guys? Hey, so we got some more of these, man. A social justice warrior getting another Tongue one getting baffled. Tongue twister, say real fast. Social justice warrior. Social justice warrior. Social justice warrior. Uh -huh. Social justice warrior. Social justice warrior. <laughs> Social justice warrior left, left baffled. Okay, let's so, see. Let's see. Your site, social is cringe. I couldn't even watch the most of them editing this video. Your discretion. Should we not hold ourselves to higher standards? Well, now, this is a very interesting point. Not if it's self destructive to do so. And I think that the problem is that this so easily turns into the hatred of the West, which, of course, Corbyn exemplifies. Corbyn and his branch of the left fundamentally hate Britain, hate Britain's allies. Wait, 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 wait. They this do. Is, this they is, do. This is, I'm we'll sorry, do this everything is to damage them. Absolute nonsense. On the contrary, the evidence no, no. is overwhelming. I th I'm sorry, give me this... some evidence that I'm wrong. Tell okay, me... all right, I can give you some evidence. The, the other week, I was at a talk That's where Jeremy... That's called an anecdote. Anecdotes are a form of evidence, Professor are they? Oh, are they really? Yes, now, they isn't are. that fascinating? I thought you were an academic. Shall we move on to another Ash, topic? I want to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What? <laughs> hey, man, y'all, don't forget to man, like, comment, subscribe, too, man. Smash that like button, hit the turn on notification bell. What, just <sighs> Go ahead. Roast it. Anecdotes are full of <laughs> evidence. I would not be What's standing in front of the car. <laughs> Well, viewer discretion is advised. There's a lot of content and not a, what no is love going and on words. here. What happened and what what the what the what? It must have been one of those things where somebody where they having a protest and uh, and you know well, how they don't want nobody to drive through it. Why are your windows down? You talking all I don't know. I think he must he won't and smoke. the doors. He must want smoking and leaving no, the windows down. You are this close to somebody because somebody all they gotta do is just pull exactly. you like this. But for him to be that calm, he must got that. He must got fire in the car with him because if you that calm, I got it in black. I got it in black. No worries. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Well, I'm gonna say on that note, I don't like none of that stuff. I don't like the the, the protests they're doing, and I don't like the the violence of the car driving through. I don't like that. Ain't, that ain't none of that stuff. Either way around, it's cool okay. To me. So people, if you see somebody who's coming and they're anti whatever you're doing, why would you be in the front of the car or anywhere around? The I don't car? understand why people do that. Just move. Because now the vibe is the person is already angry and irate. And when you're angry and irate, you're not thinking rational. So you're going to allow the emotion of anger is fueling your brain. And now and you're not even thinking rational. Why Why not just like let the person go and maybe kick the car or something if you're going to do that. But why just stand there? Don't you know a car? A car ain't like feet. It's like, you know. That is horrible. I got it the black. But still, you got somebody down here. Hurt. Who's going on with us? Okay, who's going on with us? Okay. Okay. No worry, no worry. Uh, I had a plan. So where were they? Was this one of the people that was standing in front of a truck, or were they on the side? I don't know, cause they look on the side. Cause I don't remember. I remember it taking up, but I don't remember. She a big girl. I don't remember seeing her. No, I was she seeing the guys. Oh, okay. I she must have been on the side. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, now, all right, video footage. Move on to the next one. Fox, okay. Huh. Huh? 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 Make the call and report that guy, man. Okay. What he did. Did you guys get yeah, we got that? somebody hurt. Did He's... you get that? All right. I'm not for street marching, and I'm not for all that action and, and violence that come with, you know, not but for you. But when We're you go out here, so when you go down to these fight to these types, of, when you go down to these events. You're still putting yourself at potential risk. Yeah, for that's sure. The, that's the type of spirits that are down there. Yes. All the way around. Mm -hmm. um, all the cause. Oh, my sign says build bridges, not. It's hard to read upside down. Yeah. What do you got over there? <laughs> you can do it. Pussies against patriarchy. Yeah. What do you got over here? my body my choice my country my voice it's very <sighs> artistic you very detailed with the pierced nipples and everything so hey i'm out here for women's rights too um i just wanted to get you guys' opinion what do you guys think about the wall what do you guys think about the border wall do you think it's racist do you think it's immoral let's just go one by one okay it's all of the following it's absolutely horrifying I just think it's ab like appalling. This should not be happening, not in 2019. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Cool. What do you think? The same thing. Same. <laughs> I think it's like being stupid. I'm sorry, I don't, am I allowed to cut? It's okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's so stupid. Like, our country is one of the greatest, and we should be like trying to help other nations get like built, come up to our level. Like, we shouldn't be putting them down. It's stupid. Cool. Well, the reason why I'm out here is I'm actually marching for illegal immigrant women's rights because i don't know if you know this but at least 20,000 people human beings are human trafficked across the southern border annually and 80 percent of those human beings are women and in some cases little girls and children and 70 percent of those cases are for the purpose of sexual exploitation prostitution so i'm out here marching for those lives i'm out here marching for these illegal immigrants or immigrants whatever you want to call them people coming from foreign countries these little girls, these women that deserve a voice and that deserve to be heard, I'm out here marching for them. And so I personally believe, I don't know if you guys know this, but this month, as of January 2019, like you say, it's 2019, how could we still be living in ancient times like freaking Neanderthals and murdering people and little kids and children? It doesn't make any sense. But as of January 2019, the, crim uh, the criminal... Rendon Reyes crime enterprise, sex trafficking enterprise, was convicted this month and admitted to taking advantage of the southern border and how weak our immigration system is. And they lured little girls, women, as young as 14 years of age over the southern border and forced them into sex acts, prostitution, forced abortions, and threatened their families to murder their families if they did not comply. These are little girls that are being sex trafficked from Mexico, from Central America, into the United States by illegal immigrants in the United States. Now, what y'all got to say on that? It looked like it, it like everybody just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, did not know that. And they're being forced. You want to hear something crazy? Some of these girls were forced to perform 45 sex acts a night against Stop their it. will. Stop these are it. all convicted crimes. According to the D uh, Department horrible. of Justice system, the DOJ in the United States, this That's happened horrible. this month. Little girls that are being forced against their will to stay in this country into prostitution, Ooh. raped, and in some Ooh, cases, Lord. beat horrible. and abused. That's for me, I'm out here fighting for them. I believe that a border wall, I believe that a wall would actually save lives rather than take life. Wow. I believe that if we built a wall, that we would save these little girls, 14 years of age, that are being, they're not coming here for asylum. They're being forced here against their will and raped and put into prostitution wow. against their will. I'm here for them today. Wow. And I hope you would be too. And I just personally believe if we built a wall that these little girls' lives would be saved. And I don't know if you know this, 
but these criminals were convicted. All of the money that they were making off the prostitution from the girls, none of these women or little girls saw a dime. You know where all the money went? It went straight back into Mexico to the cartels. So I personally believe if we built a wall, that it's not immoral. I believe we would actually save lives. That's a lot of people, 20,000 people and 80% women sex trafficked into the United States. This one like this, oh, what if it's, I can be stupid over here? Said, exactly, you sitting here talking about stuff that you don't even have no facts on. You just At know all. it's bad and you say it's bad and now you want to say, okay, we need we need to, yeah, let, no, don't worry, why, why? Oh, I think I left my cell phone in the car. Come on. <laughs> These are statistics from the Department of Justice of the United States, and those are unbiased. These aren't politically swayed. These are all the way back until the administration of Bush. So, I mean, I don't know if you know this as well, but in 2006, they actually, the Bush administration approved a border wall to be built in Yuma County in Arizona. It was 20 foot high. After they built the wall, <laughs> crime went down 96% in Yuma County in Arizona, including human trafficking. So we've Whoa. seen in history that a wall works, and that was before the advent of Donald Trump. That was under Bush. So my personal opinion, I'm out here fighting for illegal immigrant women and little girls' lives, and I believe that a wall would save their lives because that's higher immigration security at the southern border because you know what these men admitted? They admitted that they took advantage of our weak immigration system at the southern border. Wow. So what do you guys think about that? <laughs> I think there needs to be an immigration reform for sure, but it... The situation on, on which we're currently under the United States, it's 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 not a matter of what's done, it's how it's done. So I feel like me personally, like there needs to be big not only like policy change but social change. There needs to be a lot that goes into it. It's not I personally believe that building the wall like hearing the statistics, like I can see how it'd be beneficial, but there okay, definitely good. needs to be Good. The racial factor needs to be taken out of it. And I, I agree with you. Like, just, just take Donald Trump out of it. Would you agree that a wall, even statistically proven in the past, could possibly save little girls' lives? Take Donald Trump out of it. I agree with you. There are things he could say a lot better, right? There are things he could say that, you know, I probably would have said that a little differently so you don't piss off an entire civilization and culture of people, <laughs> right? Take him out of it. Do you believe that a wall could possibly save the lives of these little girls that are, they're not coming here for asylum. They're being forced here against their will to perform sex acts. Can you imagine living like that? Is that women's rights? Is that freedom? No. So would you agree that a wall could possibly save these little girls' lives? Possibly. I bet their, their spirits are why they were out there fighting, painting, and they painted and drew them posters for um, about three hours to put them posters together, have been crushed. Well, I mean, but at least she's saying she's coming around based off. I'm like, see, with the facts, the facts, now you have to think if you're a person that's really about truth and walking in and doing what's right. When you get the facts, you can't help but go with the truth. Yeah. Why would you continue to, to, to argue against the truth when the facts are there? Right. I don't get that. Right. But people do it all the time. But it's like, come on, what's your motive? What's your true intention then? Right. What do you think? It's just the way that the wall is a symbol for things that, you know, like when we start talking about the wall, we don't think about that. All we think about is, oh, keep the Mexicans out. Oh, keep the Latin Americans out. Keep those dirty immigrants out. And that's why I'm never going to say yes to a fucking wall. So even if 80 percent of little girls are being sex trafficked, you she don't know what to do with her emotions right now. If you see her. She's kind of like, she's the person I just, I just there for, for She's no the person I just explained. Yeah. She's the person I just explained. Yeah. The man is giving you the facts here. Yeah. So it's, it's relative. It's, it's a reason by wanting to do it a certain way. Right. But you're so caught up on some of the racial slurs that you heard that's still fueling. How's that? That emotion is overpowering the facts. Right. Or say yes to it. I'm like I said, remove Donald Trump. Exactly. Let's say we get another president. We can't remove Donald Trump. I'm talking we... about. I'm talking about just the purpose of the wall exactly. saving lives. Exactly. I'm saying just remove Donald Trump from the equation. Let's say Donald Trump gets impeached. Whatever. Let's say some other Republican and president that doesn't come off as a racist comes through and gives you the same statistics I gave you and says, "Hey, we should build a wall, not to, you know, demean Mexicans, but we should do it to save lives." How would you respond to that if it was said differently? 
What if it was put the way that I'm putting it to you? Hello. Exactly. Still. <laughs> Cause you wanna you wanna have your point to be right. Yeah, please. you you wanna you wanna I wanna continue in this feeling and, that yes, I'm, I wanna keep fueling this negative emotion. Yeah. Even when now you have another option to look at it. Got facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. I know, I but I like how he came in with it though. At first, you thought he was gonna be going for what you were going for. He had on the pink. <laughs> he blended. He blended. Oh, he had. They were like, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Then he was like, Bye. huh? By the end, of every, everybody started like this, and by the end, they, they all were like this. I was like, wow. <laughs> That's how you do that, though. Right. If you're going to go down to them events, and you're trying to get, he you did, know, he you're did trying right. to sway somebody's thinking, you know, or at least have them listen to what you have to say. Yeah. He moved like an assassin on that one. He was like, then he dropped the bomb. Because at first when he was saying, I was like, oh, okay, okay, I, 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 okay, I right. see what you're saying. Then he hit, I'm like, oh, now I see what you, where you're getting at. Mm. But when, what, once again, when you have somebody that's dropping some facts and then you can go back and fact check him, let me see what the statistics truly are, you're going to be like, oh, okay, okay, I, okay. I see it from this perspective. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's good. This was good. All right, y'all, man, like, comment, so, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nose dive, but comment in the section below if you want to see some more. We appreciate it. All right, guys. See you on the next video. And we got some new uh, Buy Me a Coffee content. I think we're going to be dropping in the next month or so. Yes, sure. we are. Sure. So we're going to keep you posted on that. All right. For sure.